Okay, so now I'm on my final stage with the assembling the cam webs. So what's left to do now is to do the wheels. Now, off camera what I have done is I've painted up some wheels and sadly enough, or well, fun enough, it's um, the slowest part of the whole project. What do we need to do now is, with these rims, we need to glue them onto the tyres. So, what I'm going to do is, um, the best glue to use, which I have found on this, and it's not so hard on the plastic, is white glue. Or, what we call here in Australia, uh, PVA glue. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, I don't need as much now, but I'll put a dab in here, like such. I'm going to move this over it like so. Now, um, I'll do the, this one here first. I'll push the rim out from the inside of the tyre. Like so. Now I'm going to get a toothpick. Have a little bit of this white glue. I mean, you don't need much. Like so. Smear it on the inside. such and then all we do is just push it in push the rinse back in like so I'm going to use it it's good to just to wipe the end of it because the white glue will push itself through and what I do is I'm going to push the rim right down like so and now all I've got to do is leave it aside and let it dry. Same with the front wheel. Um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Um, get a bit of white glue. Dab it on the inside as such. Like that. And push the rim in and wipe a little bit of the residue on the back just push it down like so and put it aside that will take a few minutes to dry up okay so while this dries I'm going to start working on one of the prime movers Glue aside. Okay, it's all loosely put on. Like so. I saw that my bits and pieces. Now, now if you guys remember, I was talking about um, I want to do the cab so I can interchange them between prime movers. So what I've come up with is a concept where I do everything on the prime mover first I glue the filter and exhaust on the back now I've gone ahead and glued the bumper bar and the ball, or the ball bar on the front now what I'll do later I'll show you I'll put a double sided tape on that to hold them in place and they just slip on like so Okay, um, we are having issues here at the moment with our hobby shops and whatnot closed due to a lockdown. So it was hard to get a hold of the glue that I normally do use in this type of plastic, which is Zappa Gap. Now all my glue is gone 
gone solid and hard. So what I managed to do in its place is get the Grewa super glue. It works the same way, holds everything in a place within 10 seconds. Okay, so what I'll do is first off, I'll get the cab. This was a red cab, I wasn't happy with how everything was coming off, so I ended up repainting it to one of my fleet colours. So, what I'm going to do on this model now is glue the stack on the back of it, the box so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a super glue to glue it into place. And you don't need too much of it. I'll just grab that, take the top off. Now, where I'll put the glue is, is on the points. The bottom of the air filter there, the intake, and the exhaust. That's all you need, just a little bit. That glue is coming out a bit too quick. Let me just wipe the tip off. I don't want it to go everywhere. I'll just wipe that up. Alright, so I've got that out of the way. Alright, now. I'm going to get the glue. Put it up on there and put a little, just a little dab on here. Like so. Doesn't need much. Needs a little bit. I've actually found I've done some of what some of these truck models already, and I've actually found it it holds on pretty good. So what I need need to do now is place it in near the middle. Now this bottom flat bit needs to come into line with the bottom of the cab. So here we go, to get it in close to the middle, like so. Now I'll hold it there for about 10 seconds. Okay, that's going to hold there for a while. Okay, so I'm going to put that to the side. And give it a little time for it to dry up. Okay, now it's time to do the fuel tanks. Now, I'm going to use the same glue. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put it all in the body in here. And just sort of sort out what bits go where. So, what I've done here is... Now, I've got two fuel tanks on either side. Um... Now, with these fuel tanks, you will see you've got the filler cap, which is like here. What you want to do is you want to put that fuel cap towards the rear side, away from the cab and the exhaust. You've got the steps here, the climbing steps, or running rails, whatever you want to call them. They go to the outside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same. I'm going to use the same glue. And it goes up within these grooves here. And so I'm just going to go like so. So, I've got the right tank, that one goes to the right inside of the truck. Now I'll try to get the tank close to the top. Like so. Hold it into place. 
for about 10 seconds. Tip this to the side, like so, push it down, who doesn't want to play the ball, Is that in it, okay, let's come down a little, there we go, got it, so I'm just going to leave that for a while, and the end result is going to end up being like this here. I've got the left and right, like so. You see, I've done the interchange on the cab on here, so I can swap it around, it just slips over the top like that. Okay, I'll put that to the side, I'm going to let that, that dry for a moment, and I'll get back and we'll do the other side, and then continue on with the assembly with the glue. Okay, so I'm up to doing the wheels. Um, you know, just have a look at some of these, you just need to prune the edges off it, you get just a roughness out of it, uh, there are a few little rough, rough spots. Now, one, and okay, I'll just get this one here, as well, it's just got a little bit some little birds on this. Okay, um, this is one of the ones I did earlier. See so how to put it all together. Now, one thing that's disappointing me about this kit is that the wheels themselves, that the wheels themselves are a little bit different to the herpa ones. With the herpa ones you can actually push them in, click, and then they become free rolling. Um, with this kit here, unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, with, these, with this kit you need to, if you want the wheels on there, you're going to have to glue them on. Now, there is another alternative, uh, which I will do at a later date when I can get my hands onto them, is to change the actual axles with the herper axles, they come in a kit, and then you can actually have the wheels fitted on so they can spin. Now, another thing which I have found, okay, I have got the mud guard off that, I'll have to put it on later, is with these rims, with these wheels that you have the four covered hubs in it, you can actually see it on this one here, you've got the middle axle there. Um, with the length of these rods here, or the axles, when you put that on into its place, the tyres are actually sitting normally outside the mud guard. So what I well, I can you'll probably see it notice it on this one here, how the tires are actually coming outside of the mud guard. Right? So to fix that problem up what you need to do is in this axle bit here you just cram it. I'm just using my little cutters. I'm just cutting off just a tiny bit off the edge, like so. Not too much. That way, now I'm going to put the ties on, and it actually will sit inside the gut, inside the mud guts. Just take off as much as you need, just a little bit at a time. Little is better than more in this case. Fine with that one, and fine with that one. Now, in some of these kits, 
he has got these other brims like this one here it's got a hole going straight through as such as you can see I can actually put this toothpick to go right through now what you can do with this uh, with these ones you don't need to snap snip off the axle you can actually get the wheel itself and push it in all the way through now in this one here I noticed the problem with this one is that the actual um, hub itself or the um, the rim itself is actually a bit too thick so I'll have to modify that in one of the other models when I get to it it gives an idea on the situation what you can what you do with with these axles now with this axle later what I can do is I can leave the middle of the axle red as it is or I can paint it up into the chrome colour so anyway, I'm going to chip this side with the rims. Yeah, they do need trimming down a bit. I mean the axle, sorry. That axle needs to be trimmed a bit. And have a look at this one. So there's this one here too. So I'm going to trim these two just a little bit. It's the, the rim itself, so what I'm going to do is um, actually, I'm going to just leave that line for now. I'm just going to leave this one as it is. I'm not going to trim it out too much more. Um, he's going to stick out a little bit. I'm not going to leave with that because the mudguard, by the looks of the mudguard, the mudguard's actually sitting in a lot further than where he should be. So, okay, that'll be, that'll do. Now, what I'm going to do is, again, um, get the white glue. Such. around the axle like so I'm going to do both sides it's best to do both sides at the same time and then do one axle at a time one axle at a time so put them on either end okay so I take one one wheel Slip it on, square it off the best I can. I get another one put on this side. Same again. Hold it in place. The white glue will do the job. Doesn't need a super glue, I'll just get that on top of it. Now I'll hold that will hold in place, just get them nice and square yep, that will do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep put that to the side for now I will end up repeating it with the other ones and the front as well, just using a white glue just going to square it off slightly Now these are going to be, uh, I'm going to have these on for a while, so I'm just going to leave them as they are, let them set. And once places, a lot of these places, like Herper and that, they produce these wheels 
start producing again, I will eventually end up replacing these axles. And when I do, I will actually show you how I do it. Now here's the one that I started on before with the tanks. And you can see the outcome, the axles are all being, the wheels are all being glued on the axle. The fuel tanks have been glued on, they're dry. Now, this one's going to be one of the truck and dogs. Um, I've got two tipping bodies here, one's shinier than the other, one's a bit more scratched, that's this one. Um, what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to put the more of a scratched body on it, on this one here. Um, I'm going to put this this body onto here. I'm just going to go and get some tape at the moment and double, use double sided tape and glue it down. Now, in the kit, he has got attachments for it that goes onto here um, for a pivoting point to add onto the chassis. The hoist, however, is not a operating hoist so what I'm going to be doing at a later date again once we get over this lockdown I'm actually going to produce a working hoist into here the reason why I'm going to use double sided tape is I don't want to use the hinge at the moment and have this installed as I said before I'm just going to put the double sided tape on the chassis and stick it down for the time being until I'm ready to do the hoist. So I get my stick of double sided tape. Just need a little bit of it, like so. Should be enough. Put it on the chassis, like such. I'm just going to take this cab off at the moment. Just press it on. Like such. So. Now. I'm going to be careful when my axe are really still dry. I'm going to get my scissors. Just on the edge here. Just trim it off. I don't want this tape to go down on the guards because if it gets down on the guards because the guard is so delicately attached to to the kit I'll risk breaking it off so there's my double sided tape I'm just trying to end and it should be about here somewhere So to take this on. Now what I've got to do is with this one here, with these cabs, you got an air filter on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this and you don't want the body to be pushed up hard against it. So I'm going to put the cab on on this, this one, use it as a spacer, and get the body. And I'm going to leave a little bit, tiny little bit of a gap and try to place this down in the middle, square as I possibly can. There we go. Like such, push down on it a little bit. That's about right. So that's the tipping body on the truck of the off and then you square it up there you go okay 
So there's my truck and dog. I want to prime there for the truck and dog. It's fin pretty much finished. I've got to do a bit of filing on the tailgate here. So, so the back doors close up. As you can see, it's pretty much done. Now at a later date, if I don't want to use this, this is going to be one of the Higgy's trucks, I still got to do the decals for it. But if I want to change the cab on this one, you can just pull it off like so. And I'll just use a different style cab, different colour scheme, like so. So with this kit, I've worked out a way how to do it. Um, here's, a, here's a flat roof one. Even that's going to fit on it, like such. One way, um, as you can see, I've got, I've got a fair few of them, and if I want to change the company or the style of the truck, all I've got to do is just switch the cabs over. But for now, um, I'm going to have this cab on here. Um, I can use that one, that cap, that colour scheme on Peggy's, or I can remove that and use the flat roof. Still looks apart. So anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the this one aside. This one is more or less done. I'm going to put this one aside and. I'm going to put the rest of the uh, wheels on the other models and then I'll come back here. So okay, I've got all the wheels on the trucks now. Um, I've had a couple of issues with some of the models. Uh, this one here. Um, the issue that I had originally was when I put the ball bar on, on the front, the cab wouldn't slide up and down, or sit in its place properly. Um, I had to sand back with a Dremel, I'll just take this cab off here. Inside here what I had to do is I had to sand down this part of the dash, so it actually so the cab would sit down properly with that indentation there lining up the step so you can see that here um, because the piece was so small there it broke off when I took the bumper bar or the ball bar off I ended up putting another plate in there but as you can see you can't see that I still got to do the chroming on the ball bar and for now this one's going to be going to be done now same thing with this one here um, Ben ended up sending me two tanks of the same kind so what we've done is I'm waiting for another tank to put up in there and then I can still get away with not having another tank on it um, the same thing with this cab here, I had to, where the dash is, I had to send it back down. I didn't put the bumper bar in properly, but that doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to make it as if it's had a, it's run into something and bent the bumper bar back. It does happen. It hasn't turned out too bad. Um, I did have this axle here breaking off the actual chassis it's very thin so when you guys do do these models just be a, just be aware that the plastic is very very thin it's very very fragile so that one's done I'll put that one aside I'll do this one in a minute I'll do the bull bar on that in a minute um, now all I've got left to do I still got a patent stacks for this, um, which I'll do later on. I also need to do the chrome lining on the bottom of the steps. 
But I'm going to wait until I get my 1mm chrome liquid, pa liquid chrome paint to do the bottom chrome step there because it's very, very fine. So I'm going to leave that to, to a later date. So okay, now what I'm going to do is with this cab that I repainted I'm going to go over once again with the with a pen and do the grill on it to give it that finish and I'll just so I'll just show you this again how I do it just go over the main frame like so See, it comes up pretty good. Fill up the main grill. Such. Like that. Do the lights. So that one's pretty much done. I'm going to set this aside, let, let the chrome dry up. And what I'm going to do later is I'm going to go, like as you see on this one here, I've gone and done the outline of the handrails. I've got another 2mm pen here that's got a better tip on it. I might be able to. No, I'll leave. I'll just do the hand handrails there. The door handles. I'm going to leave that aside now. I'm going to let that grill. Dry up. Now I haven't put the double sided tape on these yet because I don't know um, how I'm going to, which cat's going to go where yet. But they, with the models that got the ball bar on, the cabs sit on pretty pretty much pretty well. The ones that's got the bumper bar, same, same with it. But we'll put a double sided tape underneath them. Um, but apart from that, the cabs are done. So in the next uh, next series is um, putting these trailers together. I've got the tipping trailers all painted up. Um, the flat top, there's one example already finished. Uh, got another one coming. Got some cattle cars coming in through the mail. Hopefully I can get that done within the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned. Talk to you guys all soon.